Welcome to Term 5 and Lesson 9. How do we use the rules for indices for multiplying and dividing? First few screens with the questions used in this lesson, and then we go straight into the showing how to work them out. So, pause it screen, you require, work out the answers. When you're ready, press play. Okay, that's enough questions from now to get on with. Uh, I'd like to uh, pause this screen and I will get to on to the answers in a moment. So, welcome back. Warm up, fluency. Right as a single power. 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 2. Now, as we're multiplying our indices, all we need to do is add them together. So, the answer will be a 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 2 is the same as 2 2 to, uh, two to the power 3 plus power 2. So all we need to do is add the powers together. So that ends up with 2 to the power 5. B 3 to the power 3 times 3. 3 to uh, 3 on its own is really 3 to the power 1. So we end up here, 3 to the power 3 plus the 1 equals 3 to the power 4. C. Division. Ah, 3 to the power 4 divided by 3 to the power 2. If I were to show you as a fraction, this will be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, all over 3 times 3. I know that 3 will go into 3 once there and once there. And this one will go once here and once there. What I would end up with is 3 times 3 times 1 times 1. This would be 3 times 3 is 9 over 1 times 1 is 1. But 3 to the power 2 is the same as 9. So here are just 3 to the power 2. There's two 3s there. And everything else is 1s. That's 3 to the power 2. Or, a quicker way, equals 3 to the power 4. That's the inverse. So it'll be the opposite. So it'll be minus 4, take away 2, equals 3 to the power 2. Two ways of showing you how to do it. Question 2. Write x times x times x times x in the exit form. Well, everyone has been multiplied. And there's four of them, so x to the power of four. B. Write y to the power of five as a product. Product is mean multiplication, so that'll be y times y times y times y times y. That's it. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Question three. Simplify. X times X times Z times Z times Z. Well, one, two X is there, and they might be multiplied, so it'll be X squared. One, two, three there, so it'll be Z cubed. And there's a sign in between, we can't see. It's your multiplication sign. B. 2N times by 3N. 2 times 3. 6, n times n, n squared. Answer. 4. Simplify by collecting like terms. 4a plus 2b minus 3 minus a plus 5b. So, a is first. 4a, take away a, is 3a. We've used them to cross them out. 2b. 
plus 5b, 7b plus 7b, oh, minus 3. Answer b. 2 bracket x plus 4 bracket plus 5 bracket x plus 1 bracket. Brackets, we need to multiply out the brackets first. So 2 times x, 2x, two, 2 times plus 4 is plus 8, plus 5 times x, plus 5x, five, 5 times plus 1 is plus 5. Now, we we'll simplify through, collecting all like terms. 2x plus 5x is 7x, plus 8 plus 5 is 13. Answer. Okay, hope you've got the same answers as me. Question 5. Simplify. P times P squared times P to the power of 5. As we said before, powers, we add them together. So P 2 plus 5, that makes P to the power of 7. B. K cubed times by K squared. Adding the powers together, k to the power of 5, c, a to the power of 5 times a, a is really a to the power of 1, so that becomes a to the power 5 plus 1 makes 6, d, 3 times m squared times m cubed. There's no M's there. M and M, add those together. So we end up with 3 M to the power 5. E. 4 times A times A squared is 4 A. There's 3 there. 3 F. B cubed times B times 4 equals 4B there, so 4B to the power of 4. There's one there. G 4C cubed times C equals 4C to the power of 4. G H d squared times 4 d to 3 equals those d we make 5 this is 4 d 5 4 d to the power of 5 h i 5 e cubed times 2 e squared now the numbers here we can multiply 5 times 2 is 10 and then we have 3 plus 2 is 5, e to the power of 5. J. 6 s squared times 3 s equals 6 times 3 is 18. s to the power of 2 times s to the power of 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. s to the power of 3. K. 5g times 2g, 5 times 2 is 10, g times g is g squared. 3p cubed times 4p squared. 3 times 4 is 12, p3, 3 plus 2 is 5, p to the power of 5 answers. Let's select the questions. Pause the video, you work them out, and then I'll come back and show you. But we'll see. <clears throat> so, question six A. 
Simplify. E to the power 7 divided by e to the power 2. Remember what I said? Division, opposite to multiplication. So the multiplication, we add the powers. Here, with division, we're going to take the powers away. So e equals e7 minus 2, which is e to the power 5. B, a to the power 8 divided by a to the power 3. A, 8, take away 3. A to the power 5. C, B to the power 5 over B to the power 2, which is the same as B to the power 5 divided by B to the power 2. Same as. So, we know what to do here. B to the power 5 minus 2 equals B to the power 3. D. C to the power 4 divided by C. And that is a 1 there, so we know it's C to the power 4 minus 1 equals C to the power 3. D. E. 3 C to the power 4 divided by C. That's C. Take away from that one there, so we end up with 3 C. 4 take away 1 equals 3c3. Three, 3c three. Three to the power 3 or 3c three cubed. F. 5b cubed divided by b squared equals b 5b3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1, which would be b to the power 1, which would be the same as. 5b g 4a to power 8 divided by a to power 3 8 take away 3 5 so here we end up with 4 a 8 3 4 a to power 5 h 3d to power 6 divided by D to the power 3, which is the same as 3D6 over D3. Done the same over here. So 6 take away 3 is 3. It equals 3D cubed. H I. 8M cubed divided by M squared. 3 take away 2 is 1. It equals 8M I. Yeah. If you don't understand that, email me. 4t power 8 divided by t power 5. 8 take away 5 is 3, so that equals 4t to the cubed. J. K. 6r squared divided by r squared. So 2 take away 2 is nothing, so there's no r. Equals 6. Power 0. Anything to the power 0 except 0 is worth 1. So that should be 6 times 1, which will be 6. Because r equals 1. 6 to the power 0 is worth 1. Anything except 0 to the power 1 is worth 1. So, r squared, take 2, take away 2 is 0, so it'll be r to the power 0. 6 times 1, which is 6. And l. 7x cubed divided by x cubed. Same as 7x cubed divided by x cubed. Again, those will end up as 0, which is 1 each. 7 times 1 is 7. They eliminate each other. Next. Simplify these two terms. The first has been done for you. Sometimes I feel they, they make quite oversimplify. 7. 2a squared, same as 
2a times 2a. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, and a times a is a squared, as we've done before. b is a quicker way. Can you see a quicker way doing it? 2 squared, 4. a squared, b, 5x squared. What's 5 squared? Same as this. 5 times 5 is 25. x times x is x squared. Here. 5 squared, 25. x squared. C. 4y cubed. The same as 4y times 4 y times 4 y what's 4 cubed ah, 4 times 4 16 4 16s 64 y cubed d a over 3 cubed a is the same as a cubed a, a over 3 times A over 3 times A over 3. How many have you got? 3 there, so it's A cubed over 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3, 9, 3 nines, 27. Answer. So, E. X over 6 squared. So, not showing it out working out x times x squared and 6 squared x squared so what's 6 squared so we can write it down x squared over 6 squared which is 6 squared would be 36. to show you out is x over 6 times x over 6. x times x equals x squared 6 times 6 36. f y over 2 cubed, so that'll be y cubed, y over 2 times y over 2 times y over 2, so y cubed there, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 4 is 8, there's the answer. Question eight. <coughs> Write true or false for each of these statements. Press pause. Have a go at the questions yourself when you're ready. Press play. Seven to the power zero is worth seven. And equals false. It's worth one. Seven to the power zero is worth one. B. y to the power zero is worth one true c four p zero equals one i don't know four times one equals four because that's one so that'd be four times one and that make four so that is false d three Q to the power zero is worth three. Well, we just explained. Q to the power zero is worth one, so that's three times one. So the answer is yes, true. Question 12. Question 12, no. Question 9. Supervising expressions, the first one has started for you. So you've got 9x squared over 3x squared. Now, 3 is in, so what do we know? These two here cancel out because x squared divided by x squared is really x squared minus the 2 minus 2 makes 0. So 
these two the same, so they cross them out. We know three is going to three once, and three is going to go to nine three times. So the answer is three over one, which is three. The way they've done it on the, on the in the book sometimes complicates the matter. So write the question out again: nine x squared divided by three x squared. The powers. So we know this lot here will go into this lot here three times. So that is one, that is three. So the answer is three x to the power zero. That's two. And then it comes three x to the power zero. It's three times one, which is three. B. 24y7 plus 7 divided by 4y7. Well, the y's become zeros. So 7 take away 7 is 0. Then 24 and 4. I know 4 we go to 24. Well, I know 4 goes to 4 once. And 4 we go to 24. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 6. So that we end up with 6, Y, 0, which is 6. C. 3, P to power 5, divided by 2, P to power 5. As I said before, that these eliminate because they're the same. Then we end up with 3 over 2, which is the same as 1 and 1 half. D. 4q squared times by 5q to the power 6, or divided by 10 to the power q8. We're writing it out, that one out here will be 4 times 5 is 20. Q's will be, because we're adding them from here, Q to the power 8. All over 10 Q8. We know these eliminate. They were 20 divided by 10, which is 2. E. 8 r to the power 5 times 2 r to the power 9, 20 r to the power 14. You might see a quicker way of doing this. Do the baby steps first. So 2 times 8 is 16. r to the power 5 times r to the power 9. We add them together. So r to the power 14. 20 r. 14. These we know eliminate. We have 16 over 20. What number do we know we go to 16 and 20? I know 2 we're going to 16 and 20. And I know 4 we're going to 16 and 20. Let's do 4s. 4s into that goes 5. 4s into that goes 4. So the answer 4 over 5. F. 4 times 8 is 16. 4 over 5. And that's over 15 t to power 10. So working this bit out first. 3 times 4 is 12. T, adding them, so that'd be t to power 10. Over 15 t to power 10. We know these eliminate. What number do those end of 12 and 15? That'd be 3. 3 and 15 goes 5. 3 is into 12, but 4. So the answer is 4 over 5. 4 over 5. And the last question. Copy complete. Uh, A. 
6 minus 2. 6 to the power minus 2 is the same as 1 over 6 to the power 2. That's it. The minus becomes a plus. So it's a minus here, becomes a plus over there. So, B. 3 to the power minus 3 is the same as 1 over 3 to the power 3. C. 5 to the power minus 1 equals 1 to 5 power 1. 1. Or just 5. D. X to the power minus 2 is the same as 1 over x squared. E. Y to the power minus 4 is the same as 1 over y to the power 4. F. Z to the power minus 1 is the same as 1 over z to the power 1, which is the same as 1 to the power z. Here's the answers to our questions.